I think to have little kids come up to me, a little girl who's just cut her hair short, and she's so excited, and she's like, my hair's just like yours. Like, it's ju it just happened a couple days ago, and those moments are so impactful because she can be who she is and feel comfortable in her skin. That's been kind of a reflection moment of, I've, I've been there. I've had those moments as a little kid, and, and now, you know, I, I've lived a few more years than her, but I'm comfortable in my skin, and to be able to give that to someone else is, is very cool. I think to achieve a more diversive and inclusive sport, we need to start at, at the bottom. Um, create spaces for people who haven't had the opportunities is a big part of that. And then ensuring that once they've arrived, that they feel safe. At the rugby rugby session, there's all these little kids, they're laughing, they're screaming. They're having so much fun. That's why we started. We all fell in love with rugby because of that. The biggest legacy I would want to leave is to inspire like some kids to get involved. Rugby has given me so much. It's ultimately shaped who I am, my friends, who I spend time with, the person I've become, the experiences I've had, and to know that there's a next generation of kids that are gonna get that. Like, I get so excited, and you know, we spend time with some of the kids. They got into rugby because of what our team has done, and that feels so special and so rewarding. As we develop the next generation of rugby players, and, and whether they're starting at five years old or 15, like, give them the confidence to go and do it. You are a rugby legend. You're an icon and... But it's been just the, the most special time being at home, um, welcoming our daughter and raising our daughter and just watching her kind of grow and to immediately have such a shift in where your time and your energy and your passion is going has been like a very great gift for me in retiring to, to be able to have that so quickly.